What is up guys, welcome back to another episode. Today is sometime in late August, but um, this video is gonna be before all the Canada videos, just saying, even though this is afterwards. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is these two boys right here. These are the Casking sunglasses. They're fairly new, they came out last month. Um, and this is a, a video on them. So um, basically, I'm just gonna do a quick review on these guys and we're gonna go fishing. Um, but we're at this creek behind me. As you can see, the water is like a beautiful blue. It's crystal clear. Um, but there's there's glare on the water. There's glare, and when there's glare on the water, you need to be able to. And you're trying to sight fish, and you need to be able to see through the water. Okay, here, here comes a car. You need to, be able to see through the water, and that's where these come in. These are two polarized sunglasses by Cast King. I got two different pairs here. I got the Cast King Skidway sunglasses right here. And these are with the copper brown lenses, and then the ones on the top are the Cast King Hiawassee with the smoke lenses and the smoke frame. So they're really awesome polarized glasses. They're very affordable. Um, they're around $25 a pair. Um, and they're extremely durable, extremely strong. Like they're just awesome. Um, I'm gonna try to angle up this camera real quick and I'm gonna show you how, um, how like durable these are because you can bend these really, really hard. One second. All right guys, so watch this. That's flat. I bend these sunglasses almost flat. That's the, that's the black pair. Look at that. I bent these, I inverted these. These sunglasses are extremely strong. They will not break on you. These lenses are incredibly durable. Please check them out. Um, and they actually sell some reading sunglasses. So the, the polarized lenses actually have like um actually have like a reading glasses style thing to it so um, if you have bad eyes up close you can use them it helps with tying and stuff tying knots so you can see better only that these lenses block 100 percent of uv lights so if you have sensitive eyes or something like that where they get sunburn a lot these are perfect they block 100 percent of the harms the sun's harmful rays and of course, both of these sunglasses feature a lightweight grimalid. I hope I pronounced that right. Grimalid, something like that. Gr grimalid. Um, but that's what the frame's made out of, and it's really lightweight and durable. That's what that's what makes it. You can stretch it. You saw I bent it, like flat, and it didn't break. Uh, it's not brittle at all. It's nice and stretchy, perfect. It's not gonna break on you. Well, guys, what you'll also see in this video is the new Casking Centron combo. This is a new combo by Casking. Just came out um, within the last few weeks. Really, really nice um, combo. This is g more geared towards budget anglers, but um, I mean, I have this, I'm using it. It worked really well. You'll see this rod in the Canada videos. Didn't use the reel because it's not saw water proof. Didn't want to screw it up. Um, but it's, it's just a really, really nice rod overall. It's got an IM6 carbon Tory blank um, and it's got the EVA split handle grips. Really nice, nice and comfortable. Micro stainless steel guides. They're not gonna break on you. Really, really high quality. Beautiful reel, smooth drag, you'll hear it in the video. I highly rec recommend this combo. It's only $59, at least for this one that I got. It might be a little bit more for the other models or less, depending on what you get. But, but please make sure to check the description. I'll leave the, the combo, the Centron combo, and the sunglasses in the description. So please make sure to go check them out. Really, really nice stuff, so I highly recommend you check it out. All right, well, the water's raging. My pants are falling down. Let's see if there's some, uh, there's some base around. Should honestly be fishing for trout, really, in this type of current, but whatever. Can't feel bottom. <laughs> it's moving pretty quickly. There's a fish. Small one. Whoa! Haha! <laughs> nice little jump this boy gave us here. Cute little smallmouth. The Cast King Centron. I'm gonna snap a quick picture of this, this combo together real quick for the Cast King page. And I'll be right back. Let's release this little jumper, just plop him back in the water. Bye bye. Have a beautiful time. Another one. 
eat some fish, pulling some drag here. Stay down. Woo! Chunky boy. Woo! That, that is a quality smallmouth for this creek. Really, really quality. Nice and fat too, right on the Ned rig. Casting center on combo handled that really nicely. All right, let's um. Oh, oh, he released himself real quick. So, see you later, buddy. There's another one. <laughs> They're everywhere in this current today. Oh, oh, see you later, buddy. <laughs> Pulled him off there at the last second. There's another one. They're stacked in here. Right, let's see if we can flip this guy. Bunch of smallmouth today. Oh, this guy's been caught before. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Yeah, he did a little tail swipe on the camera. He's bleeding a little bit, so I'm just gonna put him back real quick. See you later, buddy. Hope you're all right. Oh, there's the big one. There's a nice one. Oh. Damn, bro. So freaking fat. Another one that's been caught before. Oh my gosh. This dude is spitting up a mad tom. Wow. Look at that, guys. That is a margined mad tom. And uh, he just spit that up. Crazy, crazy. All right, let's release this little guy. And I want to take some pictures of this mad tom. It's another fat, like, one pounder, really, really chunky guy. There's one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I gotta get back. I gotta get back. Huge, huge smallmouth following this guy in. Huge ones. Oh, they came back again. Oh my gosh, they're giant. Let's see you later, buddy. Oh, I got, got it nice. Senko worked. Damn. The Senko freaking worked. I put a whole Senko on. A whole Senko. Because these smaller ones were literally chasing the smallies as I'd bring them in. And he took a whole 5 inch Senko down the throat. Or it might be a, a 4 inch. I don't know. But that's quality, quality, chunky creek smallmouth. Look at, look at the gut on these things. Freaking awesome. Dude. They wouldn't eat the smaller one, but we got another one now, and there's an even bigger one. Another new hole alongside of this log, so I'm gonna bring this Ned rig alongside of it, and there should be a small mouth. There's one. Oh, it's a, it's a big one. Not a big one, but, you know, in this current, he fights hard. Oh, yeah, it's a nice one. Never had such a good day on the water out here. Another nice, fat, smallmouth. It ain't as big as some of the other ones I've caught, but these things sure fight hard in the current.
there's another one. It's gotta work. Some of these holes, you know, you just that you know are good. If you ever see a hole, you're like, I know this is good. Fish it, fish it a little bit longer, because chances are, if you think it looks good, then it probably is good. Or at least if you know what you're doing. This guy's been caught before. A lot of these creek fish have been caught before. It's a very, very popular creek. This area doesn't get fished much, but these fish do travel, so... Um, like, I've never seen this many in this area, so they've all come from more pressured sections. Like, nobody wades this creek, really, in this part. Not a, not a bad size one compared to the few dinks we just caught. Broke off on the best jig head. But there's still much in this other one anyway. Oh my gosh, that's a nice moment. Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ, man. I am killing the smallmouth today. That's my biggest one of the day by far. Killing it. Absolutely killing it. Why the heck have I never done this good before? Look at this smallmouth. That's close to two pounds. Like, it's a quality, quality fish. Look at this thing. He's bleeding a little bit from I don't know what because I didn't hook him in the gill. But that's a beautiful, beautiful 15, 16 inch creek smallmouth. Um, I'm just going to keep him in the net for a second. Try and get a picture of him. Right, let's get a release on this beautiful beast. Woo, ready to go.